YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. Today I'm gonna bring you a power box. I actually have four uh, of a medium-sized power box to bring you. The reason is a lot of people say, Dave, I can't afford the more expensive power boxes or I can't lift them. A lot of elderly people say, Dave, I can't lift 50, 60 pounds. I need something small. Um, the four I'm gonna show you in this one just today, they're really not designed to do a refrigerator. So if you're needing a refrigerator, this isn't what you're looking for. You need a bigger one. But this will definitely do a lot of things for you. Uh, it will do cell phones, it'll do fans, uh, CPAP machines, um, and things like that. This is the hardest video I've done on power boxes. I've been torn, and the reason is this has a feature that's either a gimmick or it's real cool. And I'm sort of torn between the answers. I'll let you decide that. This is a Browie. Uh, Browie sent me this absolutely free. Uh, I'm charging them nothing for a video, and I'm not getting paid anything for the video. This one is a medium sized one. It has 614 watt hours. So, watt hours is the amount of juice that's in the battery. It also has a 600 watt inverter. That's how much you can pull out before the machine says, hey, you're pulling too much power out. It does have the capability of going up to 1200 watts, uh, but I found that to be for just a millisecond. Um, I did run this thing higher than 600. I got close to 650, 660. Uh, I had no problems. It did not kick it off. So it definitely has a little bit of wiggle room in that 600 watts. This does have a pure sine wave inverter, and that's what you're looking for. Uh, the cool thing about this, and it's 23 pounds. It does come with a handle, so it's easier to carry. Uh, and a lot of people are looking for that. It does have the lithium iron phosphate battery in it, so that is the better of the batteries. You have lithium ion batteries, and you have lithium iron phosphate batteries are the two main ones that they go in power boxes. This is the iron phosphate, lithium uh, LiPo 4, and that's what you want. This one has the capacity to charge 3,500 cycles, so it has a pretty good battery in it. Uh, after that, the machines do not junk at all you will only get 80% of the output out of it from the original. Uh, so really, this thing's gonna last 10 years. If you're using it all the time, uh, it's gonna last. This particular one comes with a four-year warranty. Uh, a lot of the ones I've reviewed have only a two-year warranty. Um, so that's, they're gonna stand behind their product if they're gonna offer a four-year warranty. Now, what comes with this is your power block, and that's used to charge it off of the uh, wall socket with regular grid power or if you have to run a generator and charge it. Also comes with a cigarette lighter so you can charge it while you're driving around. You have a 12 volt adapter system so it comes with a lot of things that you're going to need and I will say that the manual is nice. It's not a cheap little piece of junk with just a couple pages. It goes into a lot of things. So Evaluating this, the first thing was lithium iron phosphate check. That's what I'm looking for. Next is pass through. Pass through is the capability of charging this, like hey, you have some solar panels outside and using it at the same time. So, charging it and using it, drawing power out at the same time. That's the biggest thing, and it does have uh, pass through capabilities. On the front, you have a decent display. It gives you just what you need, nothing fancy. There's no Wi Fi, nothing to this. Um, this thing is not really waterproof. I wouldn't leave this out in the ring, but it does have these nice moisture covers and dust covers. Going down, you have USB ports, the three main ones that you're going to need. It also has your input. This is where you're going to use it to charge it from the solar or from the panel, your big old battery box, and charge it from the grid power. It also has some 12 volt to take power out of the box if you need a 12 volt application. Going down, you have your cigarette lighter, 12 volt DC, and on the other side, it is your AC. Now, there's only one AC 110 outlet in here, uh, so if you need more, you're gonna have to use a power strip to get the power to plug in multiple units. So, I've used this, and the primary purpose for this one, I found it was very useful if I needed to run my uh, ham equipment, GMRS radios, any type of equipment out in the field. Uh, I tested it out uh, and it works great. I have taken a lot longer in putting reviews up on power boxes because I I have gotten two power boxes that weren't, they were bad, but they were beyond bad. One was so bad it could have burnt my house down. 
So uh, I'm, I'm taking a lot longer to review them. I'm not just unboxing them, using them. Oh, this is cool. I'm making sure they're safe. Um, so you have everything on the front here. One thing I don't like for sure is you got on the front, it says 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. I want a display where it gives me the exact percentage, like it's 79% full. Um, because if not, you don't know the exact amount of charge in it. Um, the next thing I, I don't like about this unit is it's slow in charging. It doesn't meet my requirement of a quick charge. So let's say this thing is dead, you've used it all, and you got to charge it back up. You can plug it in to the grid power, and it's only charging at 100 watts. So this thing is going to take six hours to charge, which is a lot of time. Um, you need something quicker because let's say you're on, you don't have any grid power, you have your generator. I do not want to run a generator for six hours just to charge this up. Uh, so a very slow charge. Um, if you go just charging it with solar panels, it will accept solar panels and it will accept from 12 to 30 volts, 4.5 amps. So I had one here that qualified in that range. It was a 100 watt panel. Um, so it's just as slow charging it uh, with solar than with your grid power. So very slow charge. Um, so why was this such a hard, hard video to do? Uh, because is this a gimmick or is it a cool feature? And the cool feature is it's got a built-in solar panel. I use this panel and the maximum I could get out of this panel, this is rated right here because it's a small panel, is rated at 30 watts. I could not get 30 watts out of this panel. I got 20 watts out all the time. If there's good sun and I got it positioned properly, I can get 20 watts. So let's do the math. Say you ran this thing dry and you need to charge it off of just this panel. Now, you can also add a 100 watt panel and you can actually use both panels together. You can use your 100 watts and you can open this up and you can get a little bit more. So if you're only getting 20 watts and you got a 600 watt battery, you're looking at 30 hours of this having to be in the sun. You can't do that one day because you're gonna be at max about five, six hours of good sun. So it's gonna take you multiple, 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 it could take you three, four, five days easy and that's with positioning it, moving it. So that's what my thing is. Is this thing a gimmick? Is this thing a cool asset? You have to go back to the price point on this because you're going to pay more for this unit than just a regular unit uh, without this panel. To me, it, it's almost a gimmick and I will tell you why. Most panels or most boxes, what do they tell you? keep out of direct sun because when you're charging this that solar panel is heating this unit up it, it's it's working it's producing power and the unit itself is getting hot so if you put this in the sun also it is I think gonna get too hot so you have to balance that between getting too hot needing power now if you're using it and charging at the same time, which I found because I did, I had my equipment set up on a white folding table. I set up my antenna in a portable me method and everything was getting hot. I was getting hot. Um, so I don't want to be hot. I'd rather set the radio up under a tree and, and run a panel. So you could do that. Now, if you had to grab this and go and you didn't have your panel, I, I think you'll be very, very glad you had this built in panel. But you just have to justify the cost. Um, the costs on this on eBay is, I think, $5.99. They have a $50 off coupon. Make sure if you buy it, click the box. Don't forget that. That will give you $50 off. So that will bring it down to about $550. So when you do the math, this is $0.90 cents a watt hour. Now, if you're looking for a box this size, about 600 watt hours, um, you can find cheaper boxes but it does not have the panel. My favorite boxes out there, you can sometimes get them on sale for 50, 60 cents a watt hour. So this is priced a little bit more, 90 cents a watt hour. But it is a great unit. They have a four year warranty. They have a cool panel. It is built very well. It is built very well. And I like it because when I have this out, it looks like 
I feel like James Bond with some cool piece of equipment that he brings out on the movie set. Um, flick it over, lay it down, and we're generating power. So, you gotta determine, is this feature worth it? Or would I just be better off with a 100 watt panel, plug it in, and go with there? So, I found nothing wrong with the unit at all. It's just a price point of 90 cents a watt hour. Thanks for watching.